हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हेयर इज दी थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ शेयर फोर्स डायग्राम एंड बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द शेयर फोर्स एंड बेंडिंग मोमेंट एज वेल एज द शेयर फोर्स डायग्राम एंड बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम हाउ वी कैन ड्रॉ द शेयर फोर्स डायग्राम एंड बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द शेयर फोर्स एंड द बेंडिंग मोमेंट Uh, here i am considering a simply supported beam ab here you can see in this diagram a simply supported beam ab which is subjected by number of point load vertically downward here you can see in this diagram this bar is subjected by number of point loads vertically downward so uh, when this beam is loaded by the external forces in that condition the internal stresses and strains uh, are produced so to determine these stresses we must find out the internal forces and the internal couple that act on the cross section of the beam here i am considering a section x and this section x is located at distance x from point a uh, so this Uh, the this section is called the left hand section of the beam and this section we can say the right hand section of the beam so if we draw the free body diagram of the left hand section and the right hand section uh, we can say the net vertical force uh, at the left hand section of the beam will be ra ra is the reaction at point a minus f1 so the net vertical forces at the left hand section of the beam will be ra minus f1 similarly the net vertical forces at the uh, right hand section of the beam will be f2 plus f3 minus rb rb is the vertical reaction at point b so here we can say uh, the section x uh, the section x is the state of shear and the force acting at this section x will be the shear force so we can say the shear force will be the algebraic sum of all vertical forces either to the left hand side of the section or the right hand side of the section so shear force will be uh, the algebraic sum of all the vertical forces which is acting on the beam Uh, mathematically we can see we can say this is the formula of the shear force f equal to summation of v uh, the uh, the summation of vertical forces at the left hand section or the summation of vertical forces at the right hand section similarly the moment generating at this section x is called the bending moment so we can see the bending moment is also the algebraic sum of the moment of all these forces which is acting on the beam either to the left side of the section or the right side of the section here is the mathematical equation for the bending moment so as per this we can define the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram so the shear force diagram we can say is the graphical representation of variation of shear force along the length of the beam uh, the ordinate of shear force diagram at any section gives the value of shear force at that section due to the fixed load position on the beam similarly the bending moment diagram is the graphical representation of variation of bending moment along the length of the uh, along the length of the beam so the ordinate of bending moment diagram at any section is also gives the value of bending moment at that section due to the fixed load position on the beam when the shear force is acting downward at the right hand side of the section and the upward at the left hand side of the section that shear force is uh, considered as the positive shear force similarly when the shear force is acting upward at the right hand side of the section and downward at the left hand side of the section that shear force is considered as the negative shear force and uh, for the bending moment we can consider the anti clockwise moment is positive and the clockwise moment as negative now the next question is how to draw shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram for different cases so here i am taking a case of cantilever beam here i am considering a cantilever beam which is subjected by number of point loads and uh, 
at point A we can consider the reaction R A. So for this condition we have to draw the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram. As I told you the shear force is the algebraic sum of all the vertical forces on the beam. So for drawing the shear force diagram we have to find out the shear force at each and every point of the beam. So uh, the shear force between point B and C will be plus 2. Here uh, we will consider uh, the shear force if we want to find out the shear force between point B and C in that condition we will consider the force at point B only. We will not consider the uh, force at point C. So in that condition the shear force between B and C will be only 2 kN. See it is in downward direction so as per the sign convention we will take it as positive. So the shear force between point B and C will be plus 2. Now the shear force between point C and A. So here we will consider the section uh, the shear force uh, uh, between B and C as well as the vertical force which is acting on point C. So in that condition the shear force uh, between point C and A will be 2 plus 2 and this is also in downward direction so this will be positive so it will be 2 plus 2 so it will be uh, plus 4 it or it will be constant up to point A. See here after C there is no other uh, force which is acting on the beam so it will be constant up to point A. Here we have shear force at each point of this cantilever beam so we can draw the shear force diagram. Uh, now uh, the first step for drawing the shear force diagram is uh, we have the cantilever beam so just draw a line parallel to the beam here a line a horizontal line parallel to the beam this is the horizontal line parallel to the beam here the shear force is positive so we will draw the shear force diagram uh, upward side of the horizontal line so we have the shear force at point B we found the shear force at point B is plus 2 see it is plus 2 so it will be upside of the uh, horizontal line so we will mark a vertical line at some particular scale uh, we have fx equal to 2 at point b so we will take a particular scale and we will draw the shear force uh, at point b now uh, at point B the shear force is plus 2 so it will be upside. Now from point B there is no other force up to point C. So the line will be constant up to point C. Now this is the shear force diagram between point B and C. Now we have another force at point C. So here the shear force diagram will change. So we have the shear force at point C uh, or between point C and A this is 4. So we will mark the shear force plus 4 it is also upside because it is positive. So we will take a particular scale and we will mark here 4. Now after point C there is no other there is no other force up to point A so this force will be constant up to point A and A is the closed section here this this is closed or this is fixed section and after point A there is no other force so this diagram will close here so this is the shear force diagram for this particular case and the shear force at point A will be 4 here and the reaction at point A uh, that is RA will be 2 plus 2 so it will also plus 4. So this is the shear force diagram for this particular case. 
similarly for bending moment diagram we have to find out the bending moment at each and every point of the beam i told you about the sign convention we will consider the anti clockwise moment as positive and the clockwise moment as negative so uh, now let's start with point b the bending moment between b and c so the bending moment between b and c will be force into particular or, or perpendicular distance so if we consider the bending moment at point b will be force into distance so here force is 2 kN here the bending moment between b and c will be force here this is 2 kN and if we are considering the perpendicular distance as x so it will be 2 into x but you can see here a minus sign so this minus sign is indicating the clockwise direction here you can see uh, the this force is in downward direction so the moment will be clockwise that's why we we have to put minus sign here so it means the moment will be a clockwise moment here so at point b the force uh, the moment will be force into distance but at point b the distance is zero so the moment will be minus 2 into x if we put zero in place of x so the uh, value of bending moment at point b will be zero now at point c uh, the force is 2 kN and it is in downward direction so we will consider the moment as clockwise direction so at point c the moment is force into distance so the force here will be 2 and we we will put minus sign here because the moment is clockwise moment into distance is 2 meter from point b the distance is 2 meter at point b the distance is 0 and the c is located at 2 meter from point b so the distance will be 2 so here moment will be minus 4 now at point a the value of x is 4 meter 2 plus 2 meter from point b so here the value of x is 4 here so to find out the bending moment at point a what we will do the value of bending moment at point a will be minus 2 into x minus 2 into x minus 2 here the value of x is 4 so if we put the value of x here we can find out the bending moment at point a so we have all the bending moment here at point b point c and point a so we can draw the bending moment with the help of all these values so for drawing the bending moment diagram what we have to do we have to draw a line a horizontal line parallel to this beam this horizontal line we will draw parallel to the beam then we will mark the point b c and a here now at point b the value of bending moment is zero you can see the value of bending moment is zero so there will be no bending moment diagram at point b the diagram will start from point b now uh, after b the force is applicable at point c and the value of bending moment at point c is minus 4 see it is negative so we will draw this diagram down side of the horizontal line positive we will draw upward upside of the horizontal line and the negative values we will draw downward side of the horizontal line see it is negative so we will draw all the bending moment uh, in down side of the horizontal line now at point c we have the value minus 4 so we will take a particular scale at point c which is equal to minus 4 and we will draw the bending moment what we will do we will draw a inclined line at the scale of minus 4 up to point c so this is the bending moment diagram this triangle is representing the bending moment diagram between b and c this is the bending moment diagram between b and c now we have bending moment diagram for b and c now let's proceed the bending moment diagram for 
A and C. We have the bending moment. The value of bending moment at point C is minus four. Now we have the value of bending moment at point A is minus twelve. So what we will do? We will do the same thing. We will draw a inclined line up to point A, and the value of bending moment at point A is minus twelve. So we will mark minus twelve at some scale at point A. So uh, from point C, from point uh, from point C, the bending moment is minus four. So here we will draw a inclined line at from this point. To point A at the scale of minus twelve. So this diagram is representing the bending moment diagram between point C and A. So these triangles are representing the bending moment diagram of this particular case. So this was all about the shear force and bending moment diagram for this particular case. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe the channel for more lectures.